Hey guys, have you ever wondered what in the heck physiological adaptation means? I mean, it's 14% of the NCLEX. I'm Marie, a nurse educator here at NRSNG and a hospital med surge and telemetry nurse with 11 years of experience. I write questions in the NCLEX style, so I refer to the NCLEX plan daily, and I'm here to break down a portion of the NCLEX for you called alterations in body systems. Okay, what exactly does the test plan say about this specific category on the NCLEX? The first thing is fluid and electrolyte imbalances, which we covered in part one of physiological adaptation. The other four are alterations in body systems, pathophysiology, hemodynamics, and illness management and unexpected response to treatments. Today, we're gonna to focus on the second biggest portion of the section called alterations in body systems. What's great about the test plan in this particular section is that it tells you exactly what you need to know about alterations in body systems. There are three things infections, drains, and radiation. Today we're gonna to hone in on radiation specifically because it's a big part of this section. Here's what the test plan says about what you need to know for radiation. You need to be able to assess the client for signs and symptoms of adverse effects of radiation therapy. You need to implement interventions to address side and adverse effects of radiation therapy. For example, dietary modifications and for the client to avoid sunlight. And finally, you have to evaluate and monitor the client response to radiation therapy. Before we dig into those three things, I wanna tell you something. It is most important for you to protect yourself. If you are caring for patients who have had radiation, you're gonna do wanna do a couple things. Number one, you wanna wear a dosimetry badge. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to minimize the time that you spend near that client. We're talking about 30 minutes in an eight hour shift. What does that mean? It means you have to cluster care. You're also gonna to wanna to maximize your distance from the patient. And another thing to do is to wear personal protective equipment. What is appropriate for being exposed to a radiation patient includes double gloving, wearing a gown, wear goggles if there's a risk of getting body fluid splashed, and shoe covers. And finally, we're gonna to have to flush body fluids promptly. If the patient is using a urinal, um, we're gonna to have to take that and flush it right away because that will have radiation contained in it and we need to get it out of the room. All right, let's review the three types of radiation therapy. There's external beam radiation, there's internal unsealed radiation, and there's internal sealed radiation. These are the three types of radiation that a patient might have. All right, what are some of the side and adverse effects of radiation therapy? The most common side effect is fatigue. We also need to prepare the patient for alopecia, which means hair loss, because this is very highly likely with many types of radiation. And then a big one that we need to pay attention to is skin changes in the patient. There are quite a few interventions that we can do as a nurse to help minimize damage to the skin and prepare the patient for taking care of their skin after radiation. All right, here are some of the nursing concepts regarding skin changes from radiation. Number one, we wanna wash the skin daily with warm water and a mild soap. We can actually skip the soap if necessary, but if we do use a soap, it should be mild. Then we're gonna rinse and pat the area dry, and we're only gonna use radiologist-approved lotions. If the patient brings in their own powder or ointment or cream, we really can't use those on that area. It can specifically only be what the radi radiologist approves. All right, number four, we're gonna have soft clothing only over the site. We can't have anything touching the site that's gonna rub the skin because that will further irritate the skin. It's very vulnerable after radiation. And the last thing is not to expose the patient's skin to any sun or heat because both of these are a form of radiation and the skin can no longer handle this like it used to. All right, we need to implement some interventions to address these adverse effects from the radiation. For skin changes, we need to remind the patient to wash their skin daily, do not irritate that skin, and stay out of the sun. For alopecia, which is hair loss, we wanna prepare the patient for this. It's likely that they've already understood and been educated on the fact that they're gonna lose their hair, but it, a little extra reinforcement is always better than nothing. 
So we want to be able to prepare the patient for hair loss and we can even refer them to some wig companies and some insurances even cover wigs for patients who are getting radiation. Another thing to address with the patient as far as nurse education goes is altered taste. So when a patient gets radiation to certain areas, specifically the neck area or the head, they can lose their taste buds or have an alteration in taste sensation. So we wanna make sure the client knows that they can eat what tastes good. Oftentimes cold foods taste better than hot foods. And if the patient brushes and flosses regularly, this is going to help a lot with their oral health and even the taste of foods. All right, as far as monitoring for therapeutic effects of the radiation, that's mostly up to the provider, but we as nurses are gonna be there by their side to also help them with this and to be watching their progress as they move through the treatments for cancer. There's a lot of psychological effects that a patient will go through when they are going through cancer treatment and specifically radiation, and the patient depends on the nurse for encouragement. So it's really important to know that if you are working with an oncology patient, that you need to come and approach that patient with a positive demeanor and a positive outlook because that patient is depending on you so much for help in that area. And finally, side effects of radiation. There's skin changes, there's changes to their taste, then there's hair loss. Those are the three main things that you need to remember for the NCLEX. And being a nurse and caring for this type of patient, this patient population, is all about teaching the patient how to manage their condition. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this helps take some of the stress out of nursing school. If you would like to learn more about alterations in body systems and the NCLEX, head on over to nrsng.com and sign up for a trial. You guys do not have to struggle through nursing school alone. Let us help. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and as always, happy nursing.